Summer is almost here. We're still in spring. A lot of the nice fruits and vegetables are coming into season. And of course, with summer almost around the corner, that means pool times, outdoors, parties, July 4th, barbecues, and always talking finger foods usually at that time of the year. So today's going to be a dip, but really overall, it's a very healthy dip because dips can actually be healthy depending how you make it. But then once you throw in that block of cream cheese or sour cream, you'll really lose your health benefits there. Today, we're not going to lose the health benefits. Whatsoever. So let's go through the ingredients here and kind of show you what kind of dip. I'm going to call it corn dip, but there's so much more to this than just corn. Have two types of corn. So first off here, uh, this is a white corn, and then I have the yellow corn here. By the way, I, I'll admit, I did get everything basically out of the can, but it's just as good. Um, and I'll tell you some techniques of things you can do here in a second as well. Chopped up a red onion. That's not canned whatsoever. And then diced up some tomatoes there. Those were diced tomatoes uh, in some Italian seasonings. Over here, more of the vegetables and such going on. I have a diced up jalapeno. Jacob in production, uh, I think he's on prompter right now, did that for me. He took away the heat, or at least a lot of the heat. Uh, he took out most of the seeds and the membranes from the jalapeno. So that will really reduce your heat, but still give you the jalapeno flavor. I have chopped up here a, an orange bell pepper. You can go red, green, uh, whatever color you want, that's totally fine. And then I have over here some um, green onions uh, sliced up as well. And then a large container here uh, of some black beans. The, really with this recipe, the hardest part for you is gonna be the prep work of chopping up the peppers, the onions and, and things of that nature getting the corn out of the can, rinsing it off, getting the beans out of the can, uh, and rinsing those off as well. So once you have all your prep work done, uh, you're good to go. So to kind of give you a couple of different uh, techniques with your corn, if you want to use uh, corn, you can actually get that in, in season now or at the stores, the spring corn. You can actually take the husk off get a little char on it on the grill or maybe a broil on your oven and that'll give you a little more flavor some of that char will do that so that will help things out so let's go ahead from here on out all it is is just really mixing things we're going to have some lime juice with this and when you have a citrus um, getting juice from it sometimes can be difficult but you can get a lot more two ways throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds um, if you're without one like i am you can actually just take the, the, the bottom of your, your palm here and press firmly and just roll back and forth, roll back and forth and kind of turn it and roll it. That'll really break up what's inside and give you a whole lot more juice. So we'll cut that up here in just a second. So then all you have to do is get yourself a mixing bowl. And so first thing is we're gonna put in the beans. And so this is two cans of black beans that I uh, uh, just open the can, pour it into my colander, and, and rinse it off. That's all, all you had to do. If you do get the tomatoes like I have here, this is uh, tomatoes in Italian seasoning. Open it up, drain it through the colander to get some of the juices out, but I wouldn't rinse it uh, because that's then you're going to rinse off all your Italian seasoning, so oh, I wouldn't do that. Then you just throw in the corn, and again, you can char it on the grill, or if you use the canned corn like I have here, um, what you can do is actually put a little bit of oil into your pan, throw the corn into your pan, and stir it ever so often. That will also give it a little, I don't want to say burnt, but a little bit of char on it to make it taste even better. So now we've got almost all the ingredients in here. Let's throw in just a little bit of the jalapenos. We're gonna throw in some of that orange bell pepper, sweet bell pepper, again, any color you want, orange, yellow, green, it is totally your choice. And then there are some of those green onions. Boy, I should've got a bigger mixing bowl, I think. And just to add a little bit of more, maybe freshness, if you will, to this, I'm gonna drizzle in just a little bit there of olive oil. And I love this brand here. It's just called The Olive, but boy, is that a good olive oil? They make different flavors of olive oil um, that I love. They have a Tuscan one that's really good. Tuscan olive oil, it's, it's infused. A little bit of salt there just to kind of spruce things up. So we'll mix up here in just a second. Last thing we're gonna do, uh, actually, a couple more things you're going to do here is we're going to chop up some cilantro. This is fresh cilantro. So you'll just take your knife, cut you off a little bit of cilantro. We'll put that right back into the bag. When you're cutting up uh, your, your herbs here, what you can do is kind of get it into a little bit of a pile. And then you take your knife, just kind of hold it as you see there. Kind of how I've got the finger on one side, thumb on the other. Your other hand, put your palm on the top, and just kind of back and forth, just do this. And what you're really doing here is you're opening up the flavors uh, of the leaf there. So again, it kind of spreads out. So gather it up again, give it a few more rough chops. 
And if you don't like cilantro, because I know some people don't, some people say it tastes like soap. I think, by the way, that might be a, a hereditary thing. Jeans. I'm not sure. I've heard that, though. Anyway, cilantro now is all chopped up. We'll kind of just sprinkle that onto the top. And we're going to take this lime that we squeezed just a second ago. Cut it right through. I've got my squeezer here. Let's get this out of the way. We'll get the bowl back in the center for you. We're going to take the lime. I would say start with half the lime. Look up and see when you roll it. Look at all that juice that comes out of there. And if you need a little bit more after taste testing, uh, go ahead and put that other lime in there. And usually I mention garlic powder, but today I think we'll actually use some fresh minced garlic. Got a, uh, a clove of it yesterday. So there it is right there. This is all you have to do. This is no baking, nothing required. You may want to put it in the fridge when you're done, uh, just so that it's nice and chilled on a hot spring day, on a hot summer day. But look at that right there. I mean, that is just a beautiful sight of all the colors now coming together inside your bowl. It looks beautiful. That's going to make people say, wow, I bet that tastes really good. Because when something looks good, that really just adds a flavor right there, just knowing that it tastes good. And of course, you got to make a mess, right? I'm going to continue stirring and serve it with your chips of choice. I've got some uh, lime cilantro here from Gretchen. There it is, summer dip. Nice and healthy for you. And guess what? I've got your forecast coming up next.